got. Yes. And, I mean, they're really into this team. No doubt. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait for them to get started. All yeah. right, thanks, Adam. Yeah. Hey, if you guys missed that term, atmospheric river, Josh is bringing it back. Coming back. I know. <laughs> you know, we've already had it so many times this winter season. What's just one more, right? right. <laughs> we did miss it. We did. Uh, yeah, we did. We did because it does bring back some warmer temperatures to the region along with the heavy persistent rain. But right now it's the calm before that next storm. As we take a live look over downtown Portland on this Thursday evening, temperatures right now hovering in the low 40s. Not expecting to move very much or stray from that temperature through the rest of the evening hours, but you'll notice we stay dry at least until about six, seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow. That's when the first few raindrops will start to fall and that's really going to start to add up and fill up our rain gauges nearing about an inch and a half to two inches, at least through Saturday alone. More rain possible Sunday that could push some of our buckets closer to about four inches of rain. And again, it all gets underway starting tomorrow as those prefrontal clouds are already marching their way on shore. You can see just a little bit of that moisture starting to push its way into parts of Lincoln County, Lane County, but none of that likely falling on the ground just yet. So that will be changing, though, as we continue through the rest of the evening hours as the brunt of this whole system continues to force a lot of moisture into western Oregon and Washington. Here it is put into motion. It's the river of water above our heads, stretching all the way from Hawaii into the Pacific Northwest, impacting northern California as well. That's just coming off the heels of the impactful flooding and devastating flooding seen in parts of the Golden State. San Diego getting hit hard within about the past week and now more rain unfortunately on the way for those folks as we prepare for the first few raindrops to start to fall early tomorrow morning. Those east winds coming out of the Columbia River Gorge keeping temperatures into the 40s. So our daytime highs not warming much more than the mid to upper 40s as the persistent rain really gets underway by the afternoon hours and you'll notice we're lacking with the blue over the Cascades. That's because of those warmer temperatures pushing the snow elevation level well above six to seven thousand feet. So those southerly winds help to warm us back up up by the time we get into Saturday. This is a snapshot of your Saturday morning at about 7 o'clock by the afternoon hours drying out briefly, but you'll notice that the rain machine just does not stop for us, although we will get a pause in the rain here and there. This is taking us all the way through Saturday evening, though, almost two inches for Portland, three and a half, almost four inches for some of our coastal communities. Of course, this will be chiseling away at the drought situation as severe drought still remains just on the east side of the Cascades. And we've seen those improvements over the past month or so with the coast. Portland now completely clear of any drought situation. Now we're really going to start to see the big meltdown up in elevation as our snow elevation levels return to six, 7,000 feet. So the snow that fell between 4,000 and about six to 7,000 feet, all of that likely to start to melt as the rain really helps speed up that process, which is less than ideal when our base layer is looking so much better than what we were seeing back in November or even December. So here's the breakdown for tomorrow. Out along the coast, mid 50s for us, it will be a wet day. The I-5 quarter temperatures into the upper 40s in many cases. Salem may be closer to that 50 degree mark, not influenced by the east winds as our temperatures hover in the 30s and 40s out east. And again, six to 7,000 feet is where that snow elevation level will reside. And that wet weather, it takes us all the way into Sunday. But look at Sunday itself, almost 60 degrees. Soak that up as we fall back into the mid 50s on Monday, drying out and that will take us into Tuesday as well. A little bit more sunshine as our temperatures still remain in the upper 50s. And then we get another round of rain. So at least we get a few breaks over the next seven days or so. All right, but meantime, we'll have our, you know, Galoshes can canoes and, and rain gear ready. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, might, I might build an ark. I'm thinking about oh, that. Yeah. Take the pets two by two. Coming up <laughs> at 11 over on Ch